I'm an emergency management consultant, or I would say definitely an educator. Um, for lack of a better word, uh, a disaster preparedness evangelist. Fire departments across the country are being forced into the position of, of emergency management and being forced into that position of, of becoming an educational institution in their communities simply because of the increased number of disasters, the increased intensity of disasters. So that's, that's what we're going to be talking about primarily is what their responsibilities are and the reality that years and years ago these guys were firefighters and now there's so much happening. It, it's so much more than that. The name is almost misleading. There's fire departments out there that are doing everything but fighting fires. And so this is kind of a situational awareness program that we're going to do tonight. We're going to talk about what's changing and, 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 and kind of, I think, encourage them, maybe challenge them a little bit. We're going, to, we're going to attempt anyway to do that. In 2011, I did 728 programs and deployed our national response team 18 times. So it all kind of happens at the same time. If you tour enough, uh, you don't have to chase anything because you just happen to be there when it happens. So that works out fairly well. I'll put this into perspective for you. Folks, this was one of the roughest things we ever did. That family was transported to the morgue in that car because we couldn't get them out. And that family had been at, Southern Missouri, at, at Missouri Southern State University when the sirens went off. They got in that car and drove towards the tornado so they could see it just like on the Weather Channel. Willie, be creative.